If you'd like to see how I created this lovely bling canvas in size 24 by 36, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube, so today in this video, I am going to be painting this canvas. And this is a size 24 by 36. The biggest canvas that I've ever done before um, is this one. Prior to this, it was an 18 by 24 from Michaels. So I wanted to try something different. I have a wall that I moved some stuff from and it's a nice size space there. So I wanted to go for a bigger canvas this time. I purchased this from Walmart. It was actually only about um, 10 or $11. So I was like, why not? The glitters I'm going to be using, I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to use this black, but I think I will. I'm going to use this black glitter, this holographic recollections, chunky glitter. I'm going to be using this uh, deco art silver. And I'm going to use this jet black paint brushes and I'm going to go ahead and get started. Oh, and plenty of crushed glass. I have more of this if this runs out. Okay, so now what I'm doing, I'm just taking my paint and just kind of squirting it on the canvas on the areas where I'm going to be painting. Then I'm going to, once I feel like I have enough paint on the canvas, I'm going to go ahead and take my paintbrush and just start to evenly smooth it in. So that's what I'm doing here now. Now, at first, I thought I was gonna go in the middle with a silver colored paint, but I end up changing my mind and I just end up painting the entire canvas in black. Make sure that when you are painting your canvas that you do get the edges of your canvas and make sure that those are painted because you don't want to leave those unpainted because it will show once you hang it up. So I'm just still carefully smoothing in the paint. I sped it up a little bit just for the sake of the video not being too long, but I think it's looking pretty good so far. And I'm just finishing up bringing those two sides of the black together. And then I did end up adding a little more paint on there so it has a more smoother look. So I let this dry just for a second because I wanted it to add some black glitter on top of the wet paint. So that's what I'm doing now, just kind of spreading on this black glitter on the black paint. I'm going to let this canvas dry. And then I'm gonna come and go back over it. I'm just going, I was gonna paint it gray and then go over the gray area with glitter. I don't think I need to do that. I'm just gonna go over this with some liquid glass and just add on all of my, my crushed glass. And then I'll add on my glitters. I'll let this dry a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this product called Tri Art Liquid Glass. And what this is, if you don't have this, don't worry about it because you could just use Mod Podge. But I just really like this product. So this is what I'm going to use. And I remember watching some videos similar to this and they were using this. And I just like the product because I also seal my glitters with this. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of pour it on there. And then I'm going to take a sponge brush and smooth it like kind of wide. So that's what I'm going to do. This is the liquid glass by TriArt that I'm using. And this just has a very nice gloss to it. I've used it in other videos to seal my glitters. And like I said, I'm just taking a sponge, just smoothing this wherever I plan on putting the glitter and the crushed glass and the crushed rocks. No, it's just the crushed glass and the crushed mirror actually. So that's why I'm spreading this because that is exactly how I want it to look. So that's where I'm putting the liquid glass. And I had a lot of my brush, so I didn't want to waste any. So I kind of squoze it back on. Now what I'm using is the crush glass that's also mixed with crush mirror. And you can get this from Michaels. The last time I purchased it, I want to say it was about $4.99 or $5.99. 
I try to get a few of them when I go just in case because I do use quite a bit so I'm pouring on a lot because I like it to be very very sparkly and again this is a size 24 by 36 canvas and I just want to make sure that it's covering all the areas where I have the liquid glass. If you don't have liquid glass, don't worry about that because some people use Mod Podge and it, it should work just as fine. Actually, I also saw someone do a video like this and they use Elmer's Clear Glue. I haven't tried that yet, but that may also be another method that you can try as well. Okay, so now I'm adding the Recollections Chunky Holographic Glitter. And I'm gonna add a nice amount of that because I want this to have a very nice sparkle. So the more sparkly you want this to be, the more glitter you would add. I like to add different um, glitters, like chunky glitter, fine glitter, extra fine glitters. I like to add multiple types of glitter. So I'm adding on a second type of glitter as well. There's barely anything in there, but this is like a, a thicker glitter. I'm gonna top it off with this extra fine um, silver glitter. Cause it just kind of gets in those other little spots that the bigger, chunkier glitter can't get into. Go ahead and let this dry and then I'll dust it off tomorrow and see what we have. Okay, so this painting has sat for 24 hours. Now I'm going to now I'm going to take my big fluffy brush here and dust all of this glitter and this crushed glass off and see what stays. I have my box that I've dust everything off in, but this this canvas is huge, so it may get a little messy. So I'm just gonna stand this up. Okay, so I'm gonna just brush this for quite some time. I keep brushing and I move it in different directions because I wanna make sure that there is no glitter falling off. I don't seal these because I brush them so much until I don't see anything falling off of them. So I don't feel the need to seal them. Maybe one day I will just kinda go over it with some liquid glass. I can do that just to kinda test it out and see how that goes. But I'm just going to continue to brush and brush and brush and brush some more and brush some more in different directions. And then I'll go ahead and reveal the final outcome once I get it up on the wall. Okay, you guys, here is the final finished result of this 24 by 36 canvas wall art that I did for my dining room. And I absolutely love, love, love this. And I'm getting kind of close up on it. You can, you can see that black glitter that I added on when it was just the wet paint. And it did hold on pretty well. So I really do like that. And like I said, and you saw, I added quite a bit of crushed glass and crushed mirror. Multiple glitters, all silver and holographic. And I think it came out very sparkly and pretty just like how I wanted it to. So this just gives you some ideas on how you can create something for your living room for a very, very fraction of the cost of something that you would have saw online or in a furniture store. 24 by 36 is pretty big. So again, I bought this for about 11 or $13 from Walmart. I have my own little paints, my glitters at home already, my crushed glass, and this came out very, very pretty. So I hope this video was helpful to you and gave you some cool ideas. You can do any color that your mind um, would absolutely love to have in your living room decor. So if this was helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it on Facebook. I greatly appreciate you guys for watching. Hello to my new subscribers. Hello to all my subscribers. And thanks again for watching. Bye-bye. Be sure to check out our website, myroyalradiance.com, where we sell lip gloss, hand sanitizers, shoe charms, and much more. Use my coupon code royalbeauty 10 off for a special discount for my subscribers. Be sure to check out our website, crtacticaldefense.com, where we sell in waistband gun holsters, available in four different sizes. We also carry gun cleaning mats and much more. Use my special discount code VIBES, B-I-B-E-S, for my subscribers. 
If you'd like to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, it's at life is a whole vibe with underscores in between each word. And also check out my playlist on this channel. Thanks again. Bye-bye.